Unravel the mystery of the ageless mother Gothel, a woman who will stop at nothing to keep her youth and beauty. In this video, we'll explore her secrets, her manipulations, and the shocking consequences of her desperate quest for eternal life. Mother Gothel is quite the drama queen, always showing off her good looks and curves with a lot of excitement. It's no surprise that she used to be an actress before she found the magic flower that keeps her young. She's a cunning and smart lady who's really good at tricking people, even though she doesn't have any other magic powers. She's also pretty selfish and possessive, like how she kept the magic flower all to herself for hundreds of years instead of sharing it with people who were sick. She's not just manipulative with Rapunzel. She tricked the Stabbington brothers by offering them a chance to get back at Flynn Rider and get rich. But once she got what she wanted, she betrayed them and didn't keep her promise. Mother Gothel is definitely someone who looks out for herself and will do whatever it takes to get what she wants, even if it means hurting others. Mother Gothel was a pretty lazy mom. She made her young daughter Cassandra do all the chores around the house while she just sat around looking at herself in her magic mirrors and talking about how men complimented her. It's clear that Gothel was really vain and didn't care much about being a good mother. She wasn't any better to her other daughter Cassandra. It seems like Cassandra was the result of an affair, and Gothel didn't really care about her. She would leave Cassandra alone while she used the magic flower to stay young, and she only gave Cassandra gifts to keep her away. Eventually, Gothel abandoned Cassandra completely when she kidnapped the baby princess Rapunzel. It's clear that Gothel only cared about herself and didn't think twice about how her actions would affect her own daughters. In the story, Mother Gothel's main goal is to keep Rapunzel trapped in a tower so she can use her healing powers for herself. She pretends to be a kind and caring mom who just wants to protect Rapunzel from the dangerous outside world, but really she's just using Rapunzel for her own benefit. Even though she claims to care about Rapunzel, she's actually really abusive and mean to her. Gothel constantly insults Rapunzel and puts her down, making her feel bad about herself. She also avoids any real connection with Rapunzel and scares her with stories of how dangerous the world is outside the tower. She does all this just so she can keep using Rapunzel's powers for herself. Gothel is really good at playing the victim too. She always blames Rapunzel for anything that goes wrong, even if it's something that's not Rapunzel's fault. She enjoys making Rapunzel feel guilty and making herself look like the victim. Overall, Mother Gothel is a pretty terrible person who only cares about herself and will do anything to get what she wants. Even though Mother Gothel is abusive, she still has ways of making Rapunzel dependent on her. She makes Rapunzel's favorite meals, gives her gifts to keep her busy, and pretends to be her only protector in a harsh world. But it's all just to keep Rapunzel under her control and stop her from leaving the tower. She even twists Rapunzel's view of Christmas to scare her into staying. Gothel's obsession with staying young has made her go crazy. She's willing to force Rapunzel to be her slave forever if it means she can stay young. She's also willing to kill anyone who gets in her way, like when she tried to kill Flynn Rider for helping Rapunzel escape. Gothel's desire to stay young has completely taken over her life and made her do terrible things. It's clear that she's willing to do whatever it takes to keep her youth, even if it means hurting others. She's a dangerous and unpredictable character who will stop at nothing to get what she wants. Gothel seems to really hate people because they took the magic flower she wanted to keep for herself, even though it could have helped others. She even tries to make Rapunzel hate people too, telling her that the world is a dark and cruel place that destroys anything good. When Gothel doesn't have the magic flower, she looks like an old lady. Her skin is wrinkled and saggy, with lots of marks and signs of aging. Her hair is thinning and dull, and her nails are unhealthy looking. She doesn't have the fullness and vibrancy of a younger person. In the beginning of the story, she wears a dark blue dress and a red cloak with a yellow lining. It's clear that the magic flower is the key to Gothel's youth and beauty. Without it, she looks like any other old woman. But with it, she can keep her youthful appearance. It's interesting to see the contrast between Gothel with and without the flower's power. When Gothel uses the magic flower, she transforms into a beautiful and curvy woman. 
She's tall and slender, with flawless, ivory skin and big gray eyes. Her hair is long, curly, and black, with a few curls hanging over her forehead. She wears a pretty red dress with gold trim and matching gold earrings, along with brown high-heeled boots. She also has a green cloak that she wears when she leaves the tower. Overall, Gothel's appearance changes dramatically when she uses the magic flower. She goes from looking old and tired to being young and beautiful. It's clear that the flower has a powerful effect on her appearance, and she takes advantage of it to look as good as she can. She definitely knows how to use her looks to get what she wants. The magic that keeps Mother Gothel young doesn't last long, so she needs to keep using it to stay young. If she doesn't, she starts to age really fast. You can tell when this happens because her hair turns gray and she gets wrinkles and dark circles under her eyes. It seems like this happens every day, one day she looks young and the next day she looks old. When Rapunzel's hair is cut, the magic stops working and Mother Gothel starts to age super fast. It's like all the years she avoided by using the magic suddenly hit her all at once. She turns into dust within a minute, it's pretty shocking to see how quickly she ages when the magic is gone. It's clear that the magic is the only thing keeping Mother Gothel young, and without it, she ages at an incredible rate. It's a reminder of how fragile her youth really is and how dependent she is on the magic to maintain it. Thank you so much for watching this video on Mother Gothel's story. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch it, and if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to my channel, it really helps a lot. Mother Gothel's story is a wild ride, showing the dangers of obsession with beauty and youth. Remember to appreciate the beauty in your own life, but don't let it control you. Stay curious, and I'll see you in my next video.